Hi friends, welcome to Atari classes. My name is Zameer. I am the trainer for Azure. So friends, as per the previous lecture, I hope you might have created the Azure free account. But remember, just by creating the free account, things won't work in Azure. Because an account must have a active subscription. If you want to create a server, if you want to create a load balancer or if you want to use services in Azure because everything is a service ready made. So if you want to use something then you need to have an active subscription. Now you can create multiple subscriptions the way it is shown here like uh, the need of creating multiple subscription is for example uh, you want to keep your production servers different and you want to keep your testing servers different then you can create multiple subscriptions in your account and your subscription is the house of all the services which you create. So whatever server you create and whatever bill will come for example you use this server for one hour then you will be charged it's a pay by default it's a pay as you go model so you will be charged for one hour of your usage and that amount will come as a bill you will see the amount you will see the billing at the subscription level so billing occurs at the subscription level and the payment method at the time of creating the account Azure will ask you for the payment method like uh, your credit card your debit card so normally credit card works so this payment method your credit card and uh, this credit card is mapped to your subscription. Now friends, this subscription is very important. This is the house of your services, whatever services you, you, you will use and the bill that will occur for that will be reflected at the subscription. And your payment method is attached at the subscription level. And you can also set budgets here. For example, you want to set a budget that whenever uh, the charge crosses 5000 rupees, I should get a uh, alert so that all we will see in the cost saving part cost analysis part there's a complete lecture on that now friends uh, let us go ahead and let us first see subscription on the portal and then we will come back to subscription once again so here where I, if I want to see the subscription I need to go to the portal that is portal.azure.com you need to log in and then once login in you need to go to all services and type in subscription and you can see this subscription now I have a pay as you go subscription because I am not using a free trial account because my card I have already used that so only one card once it is allowed I cannot use it twice so now I have a pay as you go uh, subscription and this is my subscription name I can rename it this is my subscription ID so every subscription has a unique ID my role is account admin I am account admin that means I can do everything in this subscription I can create servers load balancers everything plus I am the billing administrator that means I handle the billing also so account admin is an administrator the one who creates the account is known as account admin there is only one account admin in Azure that's you the one who creates the account so the Payment method can be changed by you only and all the technical things like creation of servers, load balancers, everything can be done by you. So you have complete control. Even you can create multiple subscriptions in your account. We will see that part. Let us go inside the subscription. I can see my subscription status as active and I can see the current cost is 2.03 rupees. That's very less. <laughs> now, when I click on overview. I can see the subscription ID, I can see the de default directory. What is this default directory? There is a complete lecture on active directory. We will see that Azure AD. My role is account admin, my offer is pay as you go. So you might see free trial there in your case. My subscription name is this one. I, if I want, I can change the subscription name. There is a rename button here. If I click on rename and I can just name it like uh, uh, my prod, my prod subscription something like this and then I will click on save it will take some time approximate 10 minutes to save okay 
to get reflected save meaning gets reflected now i will go back so azure is very sweet and simple you can see everything is getting track here i just there is no need for me to click on the back button in the browser i just need everything is getting track i just need to click on back if i need to go back here now uh current billing method the current billing method my billing method billing cycle is 224 say 223 23 that's fine and within this time how much resource I use I will see the bill for that and after this billing cycle ends like after 23rd of March I will be I need to pay for that that is the amount will be automatically deducted from my card so that card is a uh, year in the payment method so only I can change this payment method because I'm account admin and uh, if I want to change that then I, I need to add a new payment method and then then only I can delete the existing one okay this one I can delete only when I have added a new payment method okay so if I need to pay uh, make any changes in the payment method I need to come here now after one month after 23rd of March whatever I have used the charge I will automatically deduct it from my credit card which is map here now going at friends uh, I can set budgets here so within this one month if I don't want to get a 1 lakh rupees charge after one month right so I need to be alerted for example I say that when the charge is has reached 10,000 rupees I need to get alerted so I can alert myself there is a complete lecture on budget analysis budget cost saving cost analysis we will see all these things in the cost saving topic now coming back here so this is about your subscription I can cancel the subscription then all the resources will will go away and it will take approximate 30 to 90 days to for the complete uh, thing and I can cancel it I can manage my subscription if I click on manage I will come on this page I can change edit the subscription I can change the address uh, I can transfer this subscription to someone else I can cancel this subscription if I don't want all these things when you click on the manage button you come on this page now going back so friends we have seen here in the diagram that we can create multiple subscription one subscription is enough but if your company feels that uh, let us have a separate payment method a separate credit card for your productions bill and a separate debit a separate credit card for your testing servers so in that case you can bifurcate you can create one subscription for your production environment and you can create one subscription for your testing environment and that would make your life more easy so you can set separate budgets here and you will see a separate bill for them a billing will as billing occurs at, at the subscription level a separate bill will occur at both the subscription okay so going ahead now friends in this case let us see how to create one more subscription so for that you need to come here you need to come on this page and here you need to click on the add button now we will see how to create one more subscription in my account because I'm a account admin I can create multiple subscriptions in my account okay so uh, it will not allow me to create a free trial because I already use my uh, card for the free trial I have already enjoyed the free trial part so I cannot create it again and again so I'm not eligible <laughs> so even I'm not a student so I need to go for pay as you go pay as you go I need to select the offer okay I said I will go for pay as you go and I know how to use it so there is no harm in using going for pay as you go if I know how to use it properly I will not be charged too much now we found that this payment method associated with your account I said fine I if, if I want at the time of creating the subscription as I said we can change the card if you want to have a new card then you can change it or if you want to use the existing one you can use the existing one I said please use the existing one okay so let us click on next and clicking on next we will come on this page we need to fill up these details like service usage address and all these things we need to flip fill up and then click on next and the next important thing is Azure will ask you about the support plan so friends remember in subscription you can create servers so if you use a server for one hour you need to pay for that but support plan that payment is different that you need to pay for the resource and this support plan 
charge is for the support if you don't do not want any support you can say no but in production environment it is good to get support you know what issues can happen at any point of time and you don't want to run a year and there quickly we need to raise a request with the support team and get the support ready from azure so azure has given us three different support plans one is getting started in, uh, on azure developer plan now this developer plan will charge you this much amount per month and it is for whom suppose my i am creating a testing subscription so where testing and development servers i will create here so this plan is good for me okay and uh, where the for individual or teams trying azure or working in non production environment initial response time is within one business day so if i raise a request for example my server is not responding i raise a request with azure azure says that the response time is one business day okay so one that's why the charge is also less the response time is late but the charge is also less okay the next is uh, for development i am fine with that okay now if i have a critical if i have a production environment and i cannot go for the developer plan for teams that run production workload initial response time between 1 hour so if i raise a request so my initial response time between will be between 1 hour and 1 business day okay so i will get a request i will get a reply i hope i will get a reply in 1 hour okay so and the next is if my business is very critical then i will go for business critical azure you can see that it is 10 times more okay as compared to the production standard plan it is 10 times more so this professional direct plan for team that runs multiple business critical functions and need fast response also you will get an support uh, from advisory support from microsoft azure expert okay and they will guide you up on how to save cost and how to make e efficient use of azure a lot of things lot of guidance will be given from azure if i go for professional direct and i will get an initial response time between 1 hour and 1 business day that's the same as compared to uh, the upper side okay initial response time between 1 hour and 1 business day that's the same amount of time okay so but the most important thing here is you get a direct support from azure advisor that's very good and based on ck severity and includes high ck severity incident manager also this is very important in case your in case your uh, your your production issues very critical your case will go into a very high severity and will convert into a high severity incident and that will be managed by azure now that's good so that's why i will go for depending upon my business need i will go for Uh, either developer plan, either standard plan, or either professional direct plan. Okay, that I need to choose. If I do not choose this at the time of creating the subscription, I can upgrade this later on. Now, but as of now, I, I say no technical support. If I don't want any technical support, I will say no technical support. Okay, for support plan, I need to pay. So as of now, I will say no technical support, and I will go ahead. no technical support and next and then i need to say agree agree and sign up i don't want to sign up because i don't want to create a new subscription but if i sign up then a new subscription will be created in my uh, account okay so if i just go back okay so in my account a new subscription will be created here so friend this is how new subscriptions can be created now going ahead Uh, i just want to show you one thing how to raise a request and how to change the support plan so in all services you need to type in help plus support so when you type in help plus support in all services you need to type in help and support you will come on this page and on this page you can see the support plan for your existing solutions and you will ha uh, have a very good idea of the support plans in depth okay so right now my subscription i have only one subscription and that subscription is using a basic support plan basic support plan meaning it's a free support plan you can raise a billing request you can uh, raise uh, some uh, quota request if you want to increase the quota there is quota also we will discuss that because uh, things are unlimited but they have quotas also actually uh, there is a limit but there is a soft limit there is an hard limit we will see that part uh, in the coming lectures about limits in azure because it is not like that i can create 100 cores vm <laughs> if i want 100 cores 
and if my requirement is huge then I need to discuss with Azure I need to update them via support request so that is known as quota part and now going ahead that billing request and all these things can be raised by free, for free and in the developer plan I cannot raise a technical request you can see it is blank here and for the developer plan I can get 24 what I get is uh, the same thing which we have discussed you can uh, more than 8 hours okay and then for the standard plan you can see that uh, everything is given the case security time response and everything is given here and here professional direct you get an architectural guidance okay on the best practice delivered by the pro direct delivery manager that is the most important thing here in the professional direct now the next thing is uh, I can upgrade myself okay at any point of time I can upgrade to any level this is about the, if you want this is the place if you want to see the support plan for your subscriptions or if you want to upgrade to a, an, a new support plan okay if you are in basic you can upgrade to standard developer or professional direct depending upon your business requirement the next is how to raise a support request you need to click on plus new support request and you will come on this page and now friends on this page you need to select your issue like my issues for example I am I, I saw the bill and I said hey I need to understand the bill what is it so billing request I can raise because I'm having a basic support plan and I can raise it so I need to put the summary the problem type like for example huge VM charge I need to understand just a dummy and then I need to select the unexpected charge there are a lot of things here in the problem type assistant with will and you can scroll down and you can see a lot of things here a refund request and a lot of things now problem subtype and I can say help me understand uh, I received a new unknown charge okay and then I need to say, click on next solution and Azure says okay do you want to solve this problem on your own we have a lot of things like solve on your own I said no I need I, I need I need a support from Azure if I can solve it on my own that's good now then problem start date and the subscription ID your subscription ID you need to mention here and invoice ID if you have an invoice ID if you do not have it no issues it is not too mandatory if the star mark is not there and then you need to put in your details how much charge you got what is the VM name and all these things anything you want to upload severity level uh, uh, right now we have only C because we are using the support plan only that is basic that's free email phone number whatever you want you need to select and then review plus create so friends this is how you can create a new uh, request okay billing request now going back I will go back because I don't want to create a necessary request with Azure I don't want to bug them up now issue type the issue is the next is uh, I can I can raise a quota request also that's also available for free the way we discuss quota like for example servers are known as virtual machine in Azure So if you want to raise a co like compute, so that might come in the compute part and then you want to subscription and all these things will happen and then you can click on next details review plus create okay. Then you can raise a quota request like this. I will go back. So this all thing all these things can be done for free. Now friends going ahead. If I want to raise a technical request, then remember technical request for example virtual machine running on windows and what is problem for example blue screen I'm facing problem subtype VM restart or VM uh, and then problem anything as of now you can select anything what you want help diagnose my restart issue okay and then I need to click on next solutions I, if, if I want I can solve this problem on my own and then the details so I cannot raise a request because they say you do not have the support plan okay so uh, I hope this is very clear to everyone I cannot raise a technical request because I am in basic support plan okay so that's it for today and further we will see about resource group and lot of things